Ott Hugs. One of Thomas's sister show series. And, and it's kind of the big, big, big human lines I, I came across its um, following since like 2015. A plenty of weeks ago, I managed to finish sort of all their models and you may begin to realize that many of their models may be a bit different from their real life counterparts, I guess. Somewhat tugs the best series I've seen, but you've never seen. <laughs> Not even some of you members of the Colin Frankenbach Society have. For what did you know about tugs? And to my following since. It is mentioning that models may be different from their actual ones. Probably it's not. Maybe from being, uh, they're close to being TV show accurate. Well, today I'm going to show you each and every tug. Starting up here will be the Starfleet. And the Starfleet will be known as, would forever be known as the main cast. And here he is. Ten cents. A model I had uh been winning to make since I done made Bolstrode. Road. This model was made in March, I guess, during production for the TNF series season one. The first eleven episodes, however. And much to the surprise of the origin, Ten Cents was made from Made from a to made from two pieces of toilet paper rolls, and the funnel was made as well. But it's a bit tilting, as you may see in the series. The hat is made of Lego. The hole is made of a Sonic Zero Sugar drink mix, and the face, though, admittedly, could have looked like him. Up next is definitely could have been my favorite of all. But the next guy is Big Mac. He may be close to his accurate position. I mean, he's not a, he's not a ten cents mold though. I mean, ten cents is kind of smaller than the rest. The funnel may look a bit unfinished. The hat is un may look unfinished as well. The hole is made from high C drink mix. And the face could have definitely maybe maybe like him, and uh, maybe I forgot the chin detailing. Next up is accordingly the third, and is said to be the oldest. OJ. So, yes. OJ's funnel may be a bit tilted though, as well as his other model, like something's happened and the tape may look something like him at least these pieces right there were were repainted to make him look like OJ and there was a Lego pole in front just recycled from those as Legos because I plan to get rid of them by making them the customs so OJ right here is made from a sunkissed sun -kissed drink mix. And those drink mix boxes had to uh, be the inspiration for the tugs though. Next up is probably one of my favorite characters, Top Hat. Admittingly, Top Hat. He is made from a PK Hydra Zero sugar, pure, pure kick. His hole may have been painted black and not painted fully though. Maybe it didn't have time to do that. His top hat is all black though, just like it. And the funnel may not be a bit long at least. He doesn't move up and down though. 
unlike his TV series model. But at least, pretty good character, gotta say. <laughs> I love the monocule detailing on that one. Next up is one of the one of the best one of these uh, hardworking tugs, and probably who got an infamous role in a centered episode. Warrior. Warrior's model may be a bit tilted, though. And just serve him an extra piece of cardboard to, to lift him up. Definitely Warrior has been impossible for me to uh, do, since the glue I've been using, tacky glue, has not been doing very well. As well as my camera stand. Like Big Mac, Warrior's made from a high C drink mix. Definitely is no nameplate on this side, and still has a nameplate on that one. He may be at least a bit, a bit inaccurate, I guess. Next up is one of the smartest and greatest ocean-going tug, Hercules. His model may be a bit taller than the others, just because I forgot to uh, cut out the rest. Face definitely kind of may have been look like him, but uh, that's not how his main expression is in the series. At a minute, he has the name on his right side, and his name is absent on this side. Like Warrior and Big Mac, Hercules is made from a high C drink mix. His funnel somewhat is visible from a hot pocket box. And you're gonna further on notice about this one. Hercules is made from a great value recycled packaging. Recycled from a great value packaging. In case you don't know what great value is, great value is is one of the competitors in Walmart going a lower price. And this is what great value is. Next up is sunshine you may not be able to see his face but when you lift him you can see his face sunshine was definitely impossible for me to figure out during the making because i realized this model may be a bit different than the others i guess <laughs> this is what truly defines the design of tugs like Hercules, Warrior, and Big Mac, Sunshine is made from a high C drink mix. His funnel's unfinished. Mostly the funnels are unfinished on this one, but they can be what they could be, I guess. And plus his hat is made from uh, leftover uh, detailing from a Lego race car that, uh, that uh, I used to own when I was about 12 and now it's gotten and now the pieces are missing and it's gotten rid of I think so we're definitely leave as a D next up maybe one of my favorite next up maybe um, next up is maybe we're going on to the Z stacks or the zero fleet first up is on Zoran his face definitely could have looked like him, I guess. And let's just go on for the model and make. Zoran is made from Propel, from the makers of Gatorade. Propel water beverage mix. His funnel, though, you may not see it on camera, but, but when I lift this up, it's a bit taller. Yeah, it is a bit taller. Maybe I should have cut the funnel out. And plus the funnel could possibly be removable. Maybe I forgot to glue that. The smear on this one kind of bogs me though, since I use that type of uh, 
Since I use this type of paint though, which is washable paint, and definitely I'll get some of my tugs to stay out of the water though. Possibly that maybe for the fact that they're too heavy. Next up is another member of the Zed's text, Zebedee. Zebedee, yes, Zebedee, Zebedee, maybe um, one of those guys. And plus this funnels off like Zoran though, although two times, a few times shorter at least. He's repainted from a Welch low calories drink mix. No sign of smears on him or anything, but there's a loose, there's some loose tape in there. This top though, we're not focusing on the hat though, but this top right there, you may realize about Zebedee's top though. Well, I got a figurine of Rex though, and decided to uh, to uh, recycle the packaging and slap Zebedee's top in. So that could definitely do something to mean it. Next up is Zack. Zack definitely doesn't have his greats though. He's made from an unknown brand on the go drink mix sticks. And um, you can definitely see right here from that smeared paint, it says Toy Story. Proving that I'm a fan, proving that besides cars, I am also a fan of Toy Story. His face could definitely look like him, I guess. The funnel, though, is a bit is a bit of a few times shorter than that. But anyway, Zach's model may be a bit perfect than I thought it would be. Next up are two sets. Move on over, Zip. Next up is Zug. Zug may go first than Zip, though. Probably from this chronological by Captain Zero, at least. Well, just like Ten Cents, Zug is made from a Sonic Zero Sugar drink mix. His funnel's admittedly shorter than the others. He could have been a bit crooked. At least that's the point of what I was saying. Zug's this face though definitely would have looked like Zug. At least I'll try. Up next, you just saw him. Here is Zip. Zip definitely though had to um be like this. Okay. He's coming loose. So, okay, Zip was made from a zero sugar country. Country time. Definitely could have been like the other models, I guess. I mean, Zip could have been as bad as we thought. I need to repair Zip. <laughs> Who wouldn't love a character than Boomer? Yes. He may have been having an uncanny life like I was back in one of my like teenage years, I guess. But now I'm now I'm like only close to a year transitioning to adulthood. Just like Hercules, Big Mac, Sunshine, and Warrior, Boomer is made from a high C drink mix. His model may be a bit crazy. Crooked. And thus, parts of his model, including his top, was recycled from my newest screwdriver set. 
Maybe that was the time I bought him. So definitely he wouldn't have those splashes of white though. Or we wouldn't slap that. At least I'll definitely see you then. Next up is a alligator tug who, just like me, is obsessed with blowing up stuff. This guy right here is Billy Shoepack. He definitely, much like OJ, is is made from a sun-kissed drink mix and had one cylinder and had one cylinder block repainted. Extra blocks were added to reduce his weight. He could have been more detailed with ginger hair. The nameplate on the right side may be a bit crooked, but who will definitely know I am I was out of that cylinder at that point, so I made one myself out of a cylinder tab from a box that I randomly get through Walmart and Aldi's and they were referred to as tickets. There was one time when I there was one time when I bought Murphy, I given her my tabs and and I when I referred to them as tickets. Well, she was confused about wherever the heck she was going, like Hawaii or somewhere else. That's definitely what what the further confusion had to be. But otherwise, the model and make though, shoe pack though. <laughs> He, like me, is obsessed with blowing up stuff. And if I get more and more obsessed with blowing up stuff, like blowing up firecrackers that go big bang, if I get more and more obsessed with blowing up stuff, Billy Shoepack would have been my favorite character. Anyways, his, his model's very, I very much nailed him. Next up is Blue Nose. This is sort of a monstrosity because this model has been ruined from uh, the glitter glue I applied and, and several smashes. Who knows, he may have gotten these dents in very many episodes. His hat's been repainted, has been repainted from Whiteout. He's been, he's been uh, roughly repainted. And also, 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 just, also, I'm, I am going to take a minute to spot about Blue Nose's model. He, like Top Hat, is repainted from PK Zero Sugar Energy. And perhaps what that was, though. Anyways, that out of the way. Who needs what characters be timeless for? And here he is Fire Tug. Yes, Fire Tug. Who may have needed a firefighter in the Tug series, though. And to when he was written for stories. He, like Zebedee, was repainted from Welch's. He's all painted white without any red detailing on him. His face could have been like him, but we I may have forgotten his chin detailing. Next up, who's from underneath here? Grandpa's. 
You may not see his face entirely though. And here he is. He is, he is, he also, he, just like Zoran, is made from Propel from the makers of Gatorade. And the ex of Grampus is made from, made from, made from, made from maybe pops, craft sticks which resemble popsicle sticks and some Lego. Lego is the main article when it comes to the model making. Next up are a pair of scrap dealers. Burke, you know, the one with the glasses and Blair. Burke and Blair. They have been unfinished. Well, I want to appeal them as scrap dealers, so. Well, they've been from recycled Hot Wheels packaging. That was where, where I got my OCs. Burke, just like with 10 cents and Burke, just like 10 cents and Zach have been repainted from, zero, from Sonic Zero Sugar Drink Mix. That definitely was. And for Blair, Blair. Yes, here we go. Appeal on Blair, though. Blair is definitely one of them. And he's also like Zack. Like Zack, he's repainted from an on-the-go drink mix. Oh yeah, did I ever mention these two behind Burke and Blair? Yeah, they were simply meant to be adapters for for the barges to, to tow. So definitely that will be a D for them. So anyway, hope you do literally enjoy the custom showcase as much as I do. Well, that is it. That is all the Tusk models I had so far. I did not manage to complete them all because um, some sort of constraint going on with me, I guess. Anyways, to save time, I had the other models left to finish though. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and let me know who's your favorite here. My favorite here would be Billy Shootback. Definitely the best model I had made so far. Anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Let me know who's your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe. It can also help the channel. Bye.